for the last decade or so, I've run an unofficial survey in all my classes. And I ask my students, you don't have to participate, but I'm curious, how many of you come from dysfunctional families? Raise your hand. And probably, you know, I'd say a third to a half in a hardcore entrepreneurship class raise their hand. And then I tell them that probably for the first time in their lives, they have a competitive advantage over, quote, normal people. And the reason why is survivors have almost been part of a scientific experiment to see what happens to people who can survive chaos on a daily basis for their entire lives. And what the outcome is, is a type of personality that when stuff's melting down, bullets are flying, things are changing on a daily basis, whatever, and everybody else who grew up in a normal household is, Rawr! people who came from a dysfunctional family go, okay, <laughs> it's like a normal day for me. And in fact, it gives them a competitive edge um, in the chaos that is a startup. But what happens is that it turns out when things start succeeding and the company moves from chaotic search into repeatable process and execution, that's when these people feel most uncomfortable and start throwing hand grenades into their own company to keep the chaos going. And every time I suggest that, all of a sudden you see a couple people going, that explains my boss or that explains you know, what I'm doing. And so it's kind of interesting to watch patterns in organizations as well patterns in searching for business models.